Hi and welcome to another Carpenter Tutoring Tutorial. I'm Amy and today we're going to talk about the steps that we need to take to evaluate Let's talk about what algebraic expressions are. Algebraic expressions are any expressions that include variables. It could be one variable, it could be two variables, it doesn't matter how many there are so long as there's at least one. And then when we're talking about evaluating algebraic expressions, this means to plug in a numerical value for every variable. And typically we'll be given what that numerical value should be by the question. So let's take a look at an example of this. Let's say that we have the expression 3a minus 2 to the third divided by b. And we're asked to evaluate for the situation where a equals 7 and b equals 4. What these two pieces of information are telling us are the numerical values that are represented by the different variables inside of our expression. So what this means is every place we have an a, we can replace it with a 7. And every place that we have a b, we can replace it with a 4. Now one thing that I have to be very careful of is making sure that I don't change any of the operations when I plug in the numbers for the variables. So for example, with this 3a, I have to keep in mind that a number or a coefficient and a variable squished right next to each other like we see with 3a is a way of representing multiplication between the number or the coefficient and the variable. When I change the a to the numerical representation of 7, smushing those two numbers next to each other does not necessarily show multiplication. It makes it look like the number 37. So I have to remember to show multiplication between these two steps. That means that I can now represent this expression as 3 times 7, the value we plugged in for a, minus 2 to the third, divided by 4, the value we had plugged in for b. Now that I'm at this step, I can use order of operations to help me simplify this expression. So as a quick reminder, order of operations, we can use PEMDAS, remembering that there's separation between P, E, M, and D, and A and S. Looking through this expression, I have several different operations happening, but I don't have any grouping symbols or parentheses, so we're done with P. That means we can move on to E exponents, which means I'm going to focus first here at 2 to the third. Well, 2 to the third power is 8, so I can rewrite this expression now with that represented as 8. So we'll have 3 times 7 minus 8 divided by 4. Up next, we're done with our exponents, so we can move on to multiplication and division, and we'll handle whichever of these operations we see first as we move to the left. So the first thing I see is multiplication between 3 and 7. That comes out to be 21, so we'll have 21 minus 8 divided by 4. For the sake of room, I'm going to rewrite our problem over here. So we have 21 minus 8 divided by 4. I do still have this division left, so this will be the next operation that I need to complete. So 8 divided by 4 is 2, so I can rewrite this as 21 minus 2. And last but not least, we have our subtraction. So 21 minus 2 takes us to 19. Now we have successfully evaluated this algebraic expression for the values of the variables that we were given, a equaling 7 and b equaling 4. I hope it's been helpful to walk through this example together. As always, if you have any questions or other topics that you'd like to see discussed, please let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for spending part of your day with me. Please be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll look forward to catching up with you next time.